Hello. In this video, we will talk about SQL Server agent, but we will put the accent on uh, multi server environment or multi server administration. What is the multi server administration? Uh, it's a simple administration across uh, multiple instances of SQL Server. For this example, I will use uh, my uh, virtual machine on which I have uh, Windows 2012 and uh, also I have Enterprise Edition Microsoft SQL Server 2012 and the second one I have 2008 Windows and I have SQL Server 2012 and I will try to make uh, I will show you how you can make uh, master server and target servers or server or how you can create multi-server environment first of all before we begin, it's uh, very important to pay attention on that which version of uh, SQL Server do you use. It's very important uh, uh, since it's compatibility one uh, with, with another, you know, it's not uh, uh, always possible. So in this case I'm using 2012 and 2012 and I will not uh, have any problems with my uh, SQL Server. Also. If you create your master server in the create your target server, it's very important uh, if you change uh, your target server name after that. Uh, uh, first, you must uh, defect your server from master server or or uh, disconnect uh, your target server, and then change the name. And after that, you can reconnect or re-enlist your target server on on the master server. And uh, also, it's very important uh, to know SQL Server integration services only support target servers that are the same that are the same version of or higher uh, with, with your master server what is the advantage of this approach minimum you must have one master server and one target server and the advantage is that you can create one job on the master server and just distribute to another target server if you can you can have one or two or or and you like it. and it's uh, much simpler to execute uh, or schedule your your job and uh, when you create that job on the master server your target servers connect uh, periodically to the master server and update their schedules for jobs i will show you one simple example of uh, one job uh, it's big up all database it's uh, simply trunks script uh, sql script uh, for backuping all the database I have on my uh, instance here on my master server and uh, except except uh, uh, except uh, system database master model msdb itemdb and temdb and uh, for any other database I have on this instance will be uh, with this job will be backup so uh, I could show you this. I will run this uh, job, and I have my map here. It's uh, backup DB, and uh, as you can see, I have three database here and three database already backup backup here in my map DB map. And uh, I will try to I will show you how you can transfer this job from uh, master server. This will be my master server, and uh, to uh, a remote server, uh, a remote machine, my my uh, target server. What is uh, uh, very important, uh, if you do not have certificate, SSL certificate, uh, for communication between master server and your target service, you should change uh, MSX uh, encrypt channel option registry and put on zero. And uh, I already have here open that registry, it's uh, uh, local machine software, then Microsoft, then you choose uh, MicroSQL Server and uh, your version of uh, machine do, which you have on your PC and of course a SQL Server Engine. After that you are uh, looking for MSX Encrypt Channel Options and just open it and put zero. You know. And uh, uh, simply disabling encryption between uh, this target server and master server. And if you, if you put one it's uh, actually enable encryption between those target and master server but uh, certificate is not uh, validation is not required and um, 
If you put two, it's uh, simply enable full uh, SSL encryption between master and target server. If you specify one or two, uh, you must have SSL enabled on both uh, the master and the target server. And okay, I already have zero. You should do that on the both um, target and master server. And uh, okay, I'll close this. And uh, after this, uh, one more thing you must be aware of is uh, uh, the right SQL Server agent uh, account for for master mas multi-server environments. And I will open my SQL Server configuration manager. Okay, you can see here it's. Uh, those are my services here and I have my SQL Server uh, agent and it's uh, under the main account but if you have if you do not have to serve for example and you do not have active directory and the main and the main accounts with all those privileges you you need to have for executing a SQL Server agent on on a startup uh, you may have a problem during uh, during uh, configuration of uh, multi-server environment, but uh, it's also uh, it's very easy to configure everything if you have instances on uh, just one PC. You know, and any other way, if you want to use uh, master and target server on remote PCs, it's uh, mandatory to have uh, Active Directory to have the main and domain accounts with all those privileges. It's very important to have uh, this this account here, for example, is SQL Server Agent uh, uh, Barat slash Zoran. And if we check here on the second one, uh, my future target server, I could say, and if we check uh, SQL Server Configuration Manager, you will see that I am using the same user uh, for starting my, my uh, SQL, Server, SQL Server Agent service you can see here it's the same and also it's very important that uh, this domain user uh, should be a member of local windows administration group if you do not have that uh, privileges uh, you could have a problem during configuration your multi-server environment and uh, let's get started okay we're back on our server master server here okay we already see that our job uh, working without any errors and uh, it's very simple actually just uh, right click and uh, choose multi server administration and make this a master server and you will get a master server wizard this is server 2 in my case and uh, the first uh, page you should specify your your operator in this case you just uh, leave the uh, email address on the or page address or net send address on uh, but it's uh, much easier for me at least uh, to using my email account uh, which i use for all those uh, tutorials i made it's uh, the same one and here you choose your target server i will use this uh, visitor to connect uh, to connect to the server i will choose uh, I already know it's server uh, number three, but uh, I will show you how you can search for network servers. And you will choose uh, in this case server three. And uh, I use Windows authentication since I use the same domain name for both uh, SQL Server uh, I using for master and uh, uh, target server. And just click next. Now, as you can see, it's uh, checking server compatibility. At the beginning of this tutorial and video, I said that it's very important to have a uh, right, uh, right, right edition of SQL Server for uh, this kind of, of configuration of multi-server server environment. And uh, it's everything okay and uh, static success, so it's uh, everything fine. Okay, this is, uh, if you do not have uh, any user on the target server, uh, during this uh, master server configuration, uh, it will be create uh, one uh, login. That means that uh, uh, you want to create a new login for the target server with uh, all those uh, master server login credentials, if it's necessary. 
okay uh, it's just uh, information complete wizard and just finish and relate some okay and uh, everything's finished and as you can see everything uh, is uh, look fine and we will now check uh, our uh, sequencer agent uh, you can see here we have msx uh, and uh, that is that means that we have our uh, master server on this instance here that means that uh, we should have the uh, 6 on our target server agent and you can see here that we do have this and also what is the uh, what is the important part here of our tutorial is how we can transfer our jobs from master server to the target server it's very easy you should uh, open your job in this case backup all database we should choose uh, page target and target multiple servers and we'll choose the server free and just put ok and and you, you can see here it's uh, you need to uh, wait a bit uh, that depends how many how many jobs do you want to transfer to target server and uh, we already have our backup all database and uh, in this case we, we do not have any schedules here for for job execution but uh, you can see if I execute this first of all uh, I should check how many databases we have here we have only adventure 2012 and uh, we have also backup DB map which is our default map for this uh, this backuping here backup all databases and uh, if we execute this everything work uh, like on a master instance okay and you can see here that we have uh, our backup in our backup db map and in general uh, that will be all considering our making our our uh, master server and target server and uh, creating our uh, multi-server environment I should say that uh, if you want to dismantle your your multi-server uh, configuration, uh, you should first uh, you should first cancel or uh, better say defect your uh, all target servers, and uh, until that you will not be able to delete your your master server configuration. So on. and after that you will have your SQL Server agent uh, like uh, at the beginning after installation of SQL Server Management Studio and uh, your SQL Server. Also, there is one more thing uh, I should mention that is uh, database MSDB uh, which have uh, security security roles and it's very important that the user which will be which will be used for for SQL Server agent running uh, uh, belongs to the target server role and uh, as you can see here I have uh, this is my domain user and uh, it already belong uh, this this uh, database role and uh, today we talking about how you can create a multi-server environment how you can create your master server and uh, how you can connect with your target server and uh, uh, how you can set encryption options uh, on target and master server and how you can choose your right SQL Server agent service account for multi-server environment. That will be all and uh, thank you for watching.